Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever. Uh, what you're looking at here is the, uh, the reverse side of Maryport. We have been speaking of this for a great deal of episodes. A great deal of episodes? Can you say that? I just did. Um, and it's finally done. It took a whole lot of, uh, of re-engineering to get this tunnel to work. Why did it not work? Well, I'll do a, a kind of standalone at some point to explain it in full. But fundamentally what you need to understand is that uh, what I'd got going before was a change in elevation midway through the tunnel. You all saw me do it. Uh, no one stopped me, uh, but there was a change in elevation. And that basically meant that snapping end-to-end -end was, uh, was virtually impossible. So here's where we were coming out. And in fact, I'll tidy that up while I'm here. And as you can see, we're no longer emerging anywhere near this point. Uh, and that's in order to keep the... That's pretty ugly. That's, that's pretty obvious that some uh, engineering work has happened here. So let's uh, camouflage. Smooth. Is that a waste of money? It's a waste of money. All right, stop doing it then. Uh, yeah, so instead we're now coming out midway through. Here we go. And this took an awful lot of uh, awful lot of fussing with. One of the things I came across was a, a new error message. Oh yeah, uh, which was um, a tunnel above ground level when I was trying to do the fourth track. Couldn't understand it for the slightest. I increased the ground level. I decreased the ground level. I I smoothed. I raised. I lowered. No, nope, nothing doing. It just wouldn't have it. So I ended up having to delete the whole thing and doing it in reverse order. And that got it sorted. So, as you can see, pretty grand stuff. You know, that's a, that's a pretty spectacular exit. But that's not what we're going to focus on today. Today, we're going to uh, hopefully, hopefully complete the, the loop going uh, the other direction. So, we're emerging out in this, this little tree line here. Hello. Uh, and we're going to uh, we're gonna run Bingham, Ellesmere, back again, right? Pretty simple. I've got five million. I've repaid my loan. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm making money like pretty swiftly right now. Uh, repaid the loan, so hopefully we can get this done swiftly, painlessly, with uh, with no complaints from anybody. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to, that to work. So as it turns out, we've been able to go straight across the road here. So we'll uh, we'll get everybody on board with some of that. Yeah, look at that. Just worked. Fabulous. Uh, leads to a little bit of a roller coaster there for any uh, ground uh, vehicles operating. Uh, but all four of these tracks are going into Bingham. So the, the sensible thing for me to do would be to actually merge these. And uh, and we'll do that. We'll just have to have a quick look about where the track wants to go. So there we go. I think that's... Uh, let's have a look at something that's not too ugly. There we go. That's if it stays flat, which is always preferable to stay flat. Um, you might think, well, no, surely downhill is preferable. What are you talking about? Flat. Nonsense, man. Downhill. Well, yes, but uh, the problem with downhill is that it leads to someone having to do uphill. So, uh, you know, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, uh, okay, well, we've got terrain alignment collision happening here. And how, f how much can we get anywhere at all up here? You are, you're only colliding with this one. So if I were to remove that bit. This is another way of avoiding it is, you know, when you see what it is you're colliding with, uh, you can always delete that bit back a bit and, uh, and then resolve it afterwards. Because this should now happily cut through that kind of side of the mountain bit that we've got it working on. Uh, there we go, see, happy. Right, splendid. And I ought to move. I ought to merge those at that point onto uh, onto two tracks. Um, as much as it would be lovely to see four trains, you know, tearing up and down here, it is pretty unnecessary. So first things first. Let's extend this out. We are pointing in the right direction. Where am I going to put Bingham Station? Given that half of it is going that way and the other half is going this way. Come on. You're a genius. Work it out. Stick with four tracks. Stick with four tracks and do a four track station here. Well, that's that's that doesn't lead anywhere good, does it? In fact, the only the only place that would work is right in the centre of town, and uh, that means that would mean deleting all of this lot and all of these roads, 
relaying them afterwards, you're probably looking at three, four million in, uh, in construction costs. But actually, that allows us to avoid this hill, well, almost a mountain there, to get to Ellesmere. Southwick is, is neither here nor there. That's, it's relatively easy, no matter how you look at it. Really, do I want to do that? It's expensive. It's expensive. It's also bold and innovative. And, uh, you know, and this is, you know, if you're not going to play in a bold and innovative fashion, then why are you playing at all? All right, I'm going to fast forward just a little. We had another train become available. It was some uh, really horrible looking, I'll show you next time I visit a depot, but some, some terrible looking uh, coach on rails, effectively. And uh, I'm not interested in that. I, I want something that, uh, oh, maybe it looks like this. What does I say, basically? No, it doesn't look like this. These look like uh, buses and uh, and Fords. Okay, right. I need to make a mental note to uh, to set those as my new auto replace vehicles. Uh, where are we up to? I reckon eight million will probably cover it. All right, drop back down to six. Why don't you? Come on, we can do this. Because obviously I'm going to need to pause while this is happening. Uh, otherwise, you know, the world is likely to end. Right, let's pause there. Am I sure? That's all right. Oh, let's price it up. Uh, five. Uh, let's call it six. Let's call it seven. Always overestimate. That's two, two. Let's call it three. That's for flipping heck. That's uh, that's four, three. That's five, seven. That's six, one. Six, two. Six, eight. All right, so my estimate of five million quid was a bit off. We're looking at probably eight or nine million to buy up that lot. Yikes. It is the best way to do it. Let's have another look. Let's have, a, let's have another rethink here. So if I put a parallel station in here somewhere, I'm gonna to need to loop around to get onto it, which means we'll probably need to loop out that way afterwards. Or I could go here Still leaves me looping that way a little bit, but I don't need to loop out quite so far that way. And in the process, you save the best part of 10 million quid. Well, I think I've reached a decision on that one. How about you? All right, let's uh, let's put some uh, conducive road in. There you go. Hello, road. You're conducive. Okay, right. Uh, do I want to four? Yeah, I might as well four platform it. Why the hell not? It's unnecessary. You could do two platforms and everybody'd be happy. All right. Well, what's the difference in price? You know, seven hundred thousand. Right versus four hundred thousand. Well, considering we were sp considering spending nine million not five minutes ago. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, all right. It certainly means that this won't end up being a bottleneck. So there we go. Look at that. That's, that's assertive, that is. Right, okay. So we now need to get our tracks properly connecting onto there. So uh, let's start with the, uh, the outermost, given that that's also furthest ahead. And I do still need to put a point system on here. So let's, let's just have a look and see what kind of crazy loop this wants to do. Actually, that's that's not too bad. I would almost go as to far as, as to say that that's pretty good. All right, we'll take it. Obviously, we, you know, I'm never happy gouging and then immediately putting the uh, earth that has been gouged out into another area. But uh, as it turns out, that's not so bad. Right, and then you come around here. Right, so that's nice. And then uh, with these two, and we still need to do the points. If we don't do the points, it's not gonna work. Well, actually we don't need the points until the second, uh, the second loop, so the clay cross line. So you can worry about that later. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna worry about that later. I'll also 
do some do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of horticultural work on uh, on making this embankment a little bit more glamorous or maybe just less chunky right okay now if I come round why are you colliding ah oh, yeah, see same again so once again it's colliding with this bit so if we make those how far are you deleting there that's not too bad um, so I now want to get you to go into the station and high speed track is available that's interesting because it means that we've got trains that require high speed coming up there we go it's uh, it's not the prettiest thing I've seen but it's good enough so this one only needs to snap to its partner and that's fine the, the real issue is going to be, you know, am I going to be running enough services down here to actually make it worth my having double tracked here? Okay, right, let's switch to building with high speed track. I'm not going to build electrification at this time because uh, I don't uh, I don't have plans with regard to electrification for, for this US build. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. This is not going to work. We're going to have to delete that. Okay, and we are running services out of here, so, you know, be wary. We need a, we need a country road connection here. Let's have, let's have a nice, nice big country road over here. There is your target, friends. Cut across that, and we might need to merge all four together again in order for that to happen. Right, what if I take you off that way quite, quite sternly? Right, and then do the same with you. So yeah, I'm going to need to go back and high, sp high speed track everything, but I don't need to do that just yet because uh, we haven't got any high speed trains yet. But you can, you, you know, you can be relatively certain that high speed trains are a coming. Uh, where are we? Medium country road. Okay, let's bolt you onto that, and then uh, throw you down. Let's try this just out a little and then uh, up a little there's enough space there you go right okay the, you know the, the ability to remove the uh, the road the, the town connections uh, and relay them has, has just revolutionized getting in and out of town I, I, I'm sure you can remember in my original playthrough that uh, you know many an episode was happily spent yelling at the game not allowing me to do things the way I wanted to. Okay, so we now can, we can now top out at 300 if I'm generous enough to go in a straight line. Uh, not always possible, of course. But this is, strictly speaking, a station approach. So, uh, you know, they can just, they can lump it. All right, we'll double track in a sec. Let's uh, let's single track to our destination. I think go just wide of the uh, oil plant there. Yeah. And then we're probably going to need to cut through. We'll come back down the, the dark side of Ellesmere. Although, weren't we talking about, we were talking about having, well, that's fine. That could come around here, maybe. Yeah, you see, you don't want to be saying things like terrain alignment collision as far as roads are concerned, because you know what I'm going to do to that road. You know what I'm going to do. You're not going to like it. I'm just going to take it away. And then I'll uh, I'll put it back in, in a, in a fashion that will allow me to continue my, my quest for glory. Let's try it like that. I don't like that much. Yeah, I don't think I've actually made that any easier for myself. Never mind. Uh, let's uh, just swiftly... There you go. See? Oh, that worked. So, yeah. So, you know, another pro tip there. I've done it before. I'm doing it again. Uh, you know, if you have to get across the road, build the road, get across it, then link your track up to it. That's by far the easiest way to do it and uh, the one that is least likely to leave you screaming. 
Uh, and you know, upgrading all these uh, these piddly little country roads to uh, slightly more grandiose medium ones means that uh, the traffic on them can move faster. Uh, I could, if I wished, uh, upgrade to the, the the kind of the full speed maximum carriageway approach, but. Uh, I don't see any need for that, particularly when we're talking about, what are we talking about here, this is a coal plant of some description, coal mine. So I'm comfortable with uh, with just putting that as a medium. Right, let's, uh, I don't want to go uphill, I want to tunnel through that. Let's tunnel as far as there, and it's, and that's, a, that's a, quite an excessive downhill trot as well. Okay, let's get the double track up. Rather do it now before uh, any drama later. And uh, you, you know, I stress, you know, you're, go you're going to uh, upgrade to to high speed track at some point. But if you're laying new track, just do it as high speed straight away, um, because then the worst case scenario you have is that your your more modern trains can at least move through. Uh, the, uh, the the newly laid stuff at full speed. Okay, right. Um, even if they then have to slow down on the things you haven't upgraded yet. Because it could be, you know, a tiny, tiny bit of, of track that you haven't properly upgraded that causes, uh, causes you to slow down. But far better that than, uh, than not being able to hit full speed at all. Right, okay, so my choice here is, am I going to come in through Waltham Abbey? I don't think so. I think we're going to try and work our way back to this tunnel. So this is definitely the... It's kind of suggesting there, although we could go this side, but where does that leave our our second our second Maryport exit? So that one's coming out of here, which is pretty much on a, on a B line currently for Ellesmere. That leaves some interesting track options, certainly. But I think if we go around this side, I and mean, what are we looking at demolishing-wise? Well, nothing. We can just we, we'll just set this up as a as a, an expansion opportunity. So if I come out just a touch and then there you go. See, that's lovely. And then a bit more there. And then station it up. How's my funds? We've got three million still. And we'll just go with two tracks on here, uh, and this will be a properly busy station. Now, obviously, I need to go back and do um, the the internal traffic routing for for Bingham, uh, and uh, and now likewise for for Ellesmere. That's just me mental noting rather than anything else. Yes, I want that one, please. Thank you. Does ugly things to road. Oh well, road will get over it. It also does ugly things to landscape. There we go. Let's uh, let's less ugly that, shall we? Trying to make the landscape look natural. That's that's all I'm trying to do. Try and look like you know this is this has actually got some semblance of, of reality going on to it. I mean, you might not give a monkey's about you know leaving big clumps of earth kicking around the place, but I do, and uh, that's that's just one of those things. If you're not going to try and make it look realistic, then uh, it's not an issue. But uh, right, if we want to, if we skim that. Let's no, let's be sensible about this. Let's do the other side first. I might need to delete a little bit of the other track there. Let's go as far as here. Right there. Left a little gully there, but that's not going to cause me any problems. I say confidently, uh, you know, maybe it will cause me problems. Two and a half million left. I think I'm probably going to run low on cash, but you know what? I've got all 10 million of my loan available, and I can pay it back nice and quick, so I might end up doing that. Right, where's that taking me? 
Okay, it's the road that's caused the problem. That's fine. We can deal with roads. And then you've got a nice, a, a little dinky tunnel on the station approach. And it has managed to keep pretty much a, uh, a, straight, uh, a, a, a straight line to get there. Hmm. All right, let's try. No, well, going the other way is not really going to be helpful. So let's, uh, let's just delete this road. See if it will happily go around because I wasn't certain there, but it looked like the the tunnel that it had uh, opted to build was conflicting as well. However, I was wrong on that point, so that's fine. Um, okay, nice. Should we just put that in? I don't really want to build a build the road here. But I'm going to. Oh, yeah, it's, it's better to have it done than uh, than have to revisit later and uh, and find you can't do it. So let's uh, let's just go straight across there. Now let's check the route once more. It might just do it, but I might need to uh, might need to plumb in the level crossing first. As it turns out, it'll just do it. Thank you very kindly. All right, excellent. Splendid, right, good. Get the road back up and going. Yeah, there you are. Handsome. Well, you know, pretty ugly when it comes down to it, but uh, but handsome anyway. Uh, let's uh, smooth you out. Pretend I was never here. You've not seen me. Right. There we go. Right, cool. So that's Ellesmere now connected as well. Uh, exactly how I'm going to get Ellesmere, Nuneaton, Waltham Abbey done will be some kind of clever points-based system here, which might lead to me actually demolishing that and redoing it. So now our last remaining challenge is to link this. See if we could get to that one easily, but link onto this track here or there. So we're going to loop round a little like that and then on to here. Uh, I don't know how much detail you're actually seeing when watching this, but uh, from my perspective, certainly, it's uh, it's relatively clear cut. So, let's, uh, in fact, this is going to it's going to pull an S of some description. Right. So we could go that side of our. What are we playing here? Lumber. Our lumber setup. Okay, right. This is going to drain the cash again. So, uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to disappear, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to complete this last section here, back up onto the main line. I'll also stick the signals on, so you don't have to watch the inevitably boring signal section being done. Um, but then I'll give you a walk through next time you're here, and uh, and we'll set some trains in motion. We'll update our route yet again, and uh, and hopefully. Oh, oh, oh. We'll run the full loop for Maryport. Thank you very much for watching today. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Cheerio.